Okay, what I have here is a uh, little setup mock model of a, uh, of a system to demonstrate what a municipal drainage system would work, some of the different hydraulics and dynamics that come into play to, uh, to hopefully explain how simple hydraulics work in a municipal system. Okay, what we have right here, this, this is basically a mock-up or a model of a city street with the cars, with the yards and the homes. You can see the gutter line right along here, and these represent the inlets in the system. Right here is the pipe that comes out of the inlet, and it flows towards the downstream outfall end. This could be a lake, a creek, a stream, a reservoir, a bayou. That's, this bucket represents that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you what happens in the system when we have rainfall. Okay. All right, what I want to talk about now is the importance of intensity on the design. Let's say this is a design storm right now. We've got a mountain of water right here. You can see it's even at the bottom of the handle. We have a reservoir. There's no tailwater. It means there's not water above the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe is free. The water is down below the river, the bayou, or whatever. Okay, so here's our street. If your rainfall comes, it has a certain intensity. Intensity is how fast does that water hit the street and hit the area, the drainage area. If it has a intensity that is within a certain range, you see that amount of water stays in the gutters, flows in the inlets, stays out of the yards, flows into our, our reservoir. Okay. And in time, the water in the inlets flow down, and the street becomes dry again. Okay. Now here's the second example. Same amount of water, still even with the handle, still no tail water in our out, out full reservoir here, still no water above it. The rain comes, but this time, we got a real intense rain, a real thunder boomer. It comes in, it comes in hard. See how we have drain flooding up in the yards, close to the house, up to the cars. It takes a while to come down. It takes a little while to drain. Still flowing out the outfall. That's the difference between intensity. More intense flood, more intense rain, you get more flooding. Okay, now the example I'm going to give right now is what happens when this system is uh, under rainfall and the outfall pipe is operating under a tailwater, which means there's a head of water over the pipe. The outfall pipe is submerged. Okay, here's our same amount of rainfall, water even at the bottom of the handle. Okay, and now it's a nominal rain, it's not real intense, but it rains nonetheless. You can see now the water is continuing, is backing up more than it did before, getting the yards up by the houses, close to the house, and it takes a little bit longer for it to drain away. It's a little bit longer for it to drain away. That's condition when you have a tailwater. Now this example. Same example, we have the outfall submerged, there's a tailwater, means the outfall pipe is submerged, it's over the top. Now we have a storm that comes in with increased intensity, same amount of rainfall, but it comes a whole lot faster, it comes down a whole lot faster. Are you ready? Here we go. As you can see the water got up higher, got at least halfway to the houses here. Still in the street, taking longer to go down. And that flooding condition. It's all about the intensity and the tailwater. Very important in the calculation of hydraulics or municipal system. Okay, this next example is 
to demonstrate what happens when we get an extreme event uh, upstream of our city here and what the, what's the impact on our city. Here's our bayou, here's our stream, here's our lake, here's our receiving uh, bayou here with the pipe. Now, here's our extreme event storm. The storm's going to hit, it's going to raise the elevation here. Let's call that the base flood elevation. Our city street is below our base flood elevation for extreme event, and you can see what happens. Here comes the rain. Look at what happens in the street. Even though there's no rain on the city, that bayou, that lake, that stream could be miles away. This is the impact that happens. The water will rise and eventually start going over the curb, getting into houses, doing all kinds of damage. That's what happens when you have a high, high, high tailwater and the hydraulic grade line downstream is above your city street, your gutter, your elevations of your uh, surrounding areas. Now you might note that the diameter of the pipe, many people say we need bigger pipes. It's always important to understand that sometimes bigger pipes can work against you. In this particular instance, if we had a bigger pipe, the water would be flowing in faster than it's going out. Okay, now let's say we've gone on, we've had a high bayou, the high river, the high lake. Now that thunderstorm that made that bayou, that lake, that river so high, now it passes over your city in this kind of condition. Now you can imagine what will happen here. It does not even have to be a real intense storm. And now you can see how quick flooding conditions start to occur. And this is not an intense storm at all. It's just barely coming in. See water way beyond the homes, up in the cars, over the curb. That's what happens when you have a high, high tailwater downstream of your drainage area of the area you're trying to drain. Okay, the local rain has now stopped. The water is still high in downstream receiving area. You can see how it continues to rise. Okay, and you have flooding throughout your city streets. The elevation of your city streets in relationship to your downstream outfall is critical to your drainage design. 